Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I would like to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that notification button and bell so you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to tonight's video. Tonight's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long. There are definitely some things I would like to get into when we're talking about this situation with Safari and Erica Mena. Now, I'm not going to go too much into what these two have had going on within the last couple of weeks, especially last week and this week. But this is what I will say. For, you know, Safari, bro, like, you do a lot of dumb, ignorant things, okay? And to be honest with you, like... We try to have your back, bruh. I was trying to have your back in that last video. I really was, especially when you, I felt like, to me, you ain't been holding it down for Erica. You ain't been telling us how abusive and how, you know, evil she has basically been to you. And, like, I wanted people to realize, too, like, everybody who's out there talking about Safari's a, a deadbeat dad and all this other kind of stuff, he don't want to go to jail. He don't want to get into no type of unnecessary trouble with that stupid girl if he can avoid it. You see he, how he was in the video, brother, walking away, and you can say he's scared and all else, whatever you want to call it, but I'd rather say that that brother is scared and he's trying to get the hell away from this girl instead of him actually saying something back to her or him actually attacking her and then he ends up in jail. Now what you going to say? His kids don't really think he's a deadbeat if he's in jail. So if she's going to be abusive to him and be pushing him and fighting him and blocking the door and not letting him leave the house, then I think that he definitely should stay the hell away from her like how he has been doing. But Safari, bro, you just asked the courts to lower that child support and all this other kind of stuff. And we already know that you wasn't pretty much giving her anything because she had complained about that about, what, two years ago, two seasons ago? Well, the last time we saw her on Love Hip Hop, she was complaining about it. So we already knew it wasn't much, but you asked the courts to lower this payment. And then on top of you asking the courts to lower this payment, boy, you, you ain't got no shame in your game, huh? You record a, a, a Mata, which are, you're giving her a gift, a necklace. They say it costs about a couple of good thousands of dollars that you just spent. But you're asking the courts to lower your child support. It's just not making any sense. And I'm trying to have your back up on that. And for that reason, you know, I'm still going to lightweight have your back on that. Because honestly, I don't think that you should be around a woman. Even if she does have your children, she's going to be putting her hands on you. Because you don't want to end up in jail. You just don't. So I'm still feeling you on that part. But dude, you got to know who you having a child with. You got to know. And I understand that you probably didn't know about the, the second child and stuff like that. But dude, you already saw how the girl was acting. I'm pretty sure she didn't just wait until after she had a child to be like, you know what? I'm start blocking this nigga from leaving the house. He can't leave. I'm just stand in front of the door. I'm going to start pushing him. I'm pretty sure that she's been doing this. And I'm pretty sure that you've been so used to it. That's why you had them cameras and stuff put up. It wasn't because you was scared of somebody coming in your house and burglarizing y'all. It was because you knew that she was going to act a damn ass another day. And you was going to have to have a recording of this and show proof of how she be acting. And to be honest with you, it's just sad for those children. But I know one thing, when we see you on this, you know, online, because this isn't, you're not on the show right now. Love Hip Hop is not, your, you know, Miami, y'all not recording right now. So what would be the point of you just coming out and then, you know, and, and her, Amara, showing us, you know, I'm butchering her name. I'm butchering everybody's name. Who gives a damn? But like, what would be the point of her coming out and showing this? And everybody making these jokes talking about Erica Mena, we know right now, got that vein sticking out. This is exactly why she continues to think that she can take you to court because you continue to do stupid stuff. I wouldn't be going to no Nicki Minaj concerts. I wouldn't be showing no money. I wouldn't be doing a damn thing. The only thing that that girl will see me do is be upon Love and Hip Hop if I'm going to continue to do that. And then whatever else I'm doing that got to do with me trying to, you know, better myself for my career. But she wouldn't see me spending no money. She wouldn't see no gifts. She wouldn't see none of that. And to be honest with you, if Amara... You know, if everybody wasn't into the show me state, I mean, show me when it comes to stuff that I really need you to show me upon. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to like gifts and stuff, like what are you guys trying to do? Are you trying to show us that y'all is in a real relationship? Because at the end of the day, we see Safari with who we see Safari with, which is everybody and anybody. So I don't think that he's with anybody right now, regardless if you want to say that he's with Amada or not. 
But it's like, what was the point of you doing that for? You, and then you, you should have been like, no, this don't need to be recorded. Because you already got people coming after you for your money and your child and stuff like that. Like, leave all that alone. But everybody just got to show what you did. You got to show. I paid for that. I did that. Yeah, yeah. What happened to back in the day when people used to just do shit and it just used to be that gift and it used to be quiet and stuff? Like, nobody is like that anymore. Nobody. And it's getting ridiculous because everybody wants, I did that. I did that. It's like you want some type of accommodations or some kind of accolades for doing, like, normal stuff that we used to do all the time for each other. Like, no, it don't work that way. But I know Erica is not going to let this down. She, her lawyers probably got screenshots of everything that's going on. They paying attention from you going to the Nicki Minaj concert. I'm pretty sure they paying attention to the states that you popping off on and stuff. Like, try to have your back, especially when you let us know that she was being a little bit abusive. It's one thing because we know that she get, you know, whatever. But I ain't, I haven't saw her get, you know, well, we see her get, yeah, you know what? Never mind. I take that back. I have started getting physical with men. She's gotten physical with a lot of these dudes on these shows. But what I will say is, you would think that when a person gets with somebody like, oh, that person didn't tone that girl down. He didn't turn, you know, turned, not turned her, but, you know, toned her down. She's not so hard anymore. She's more small. She's more feminine. That's what I thought was happening to this child. But obviously, no, that is not what has happened. She is still turning up. But honestly, Safari, you doing this antics with the mini girl, the medic, what, you know, the island, whatever, the great, great, whatever the hell her name is. It's not cool and it's not going to be a good look. And honestly, the judges, they're, they're going to see this. And honestly, I don't think no, George, no judge gives a damn if you think that you're doing this for TV. Because right now, you're not on the show. Like I said, you put this on live. You didn't have to do this. You could have just let everything just be cool. Gave her her little gift in silence. Told her to shut up. If she asked, you know, family members asked, where you get that necklace? Then you could have came out. And Amada, did you not pay attention to what happened with you, with him last season? So like I said, I kind of figured that this is all like you know, fake and stuff like that for the show because we already saw what happened last season. Safari was up there messing with hecka girls who Amada was damn near friends with and getting back cool with and a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's like, what's the seriousness of this relationship? Is y'all really like, come on now. Y'all drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video respectfully.